Hello, it's the 28th of September and you are watching the launch event of new Anybus gateways from HMS Networks. Uh, we have 13 new uh, Anybus gateways coming your way this fall and uh, with us to talk about that today we have Fredrik Brynolf, uh, Product Manager for Anybus gateways. Welcome Fredrik. Thank you, Thomas. And we also have the Anibus technical team behind the scenes here today taking any questions you may have. So feel free to shoot, shoot any questions you have uh, using the chat function and we'll try to answer them as we go along here for the next 20-25 uh, minutes or so. Uh, so. So first of all, Frederick, I, I know that you've been waiting for this day for quite some time. Uh, it's been a, 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 long, a long process, but, but tell us, uh, what is it that we're releasing here today? Uh, it's been a really long wait. I mean, uh, we have been battling the component crisis as everyone else. And finally, we have been able to lower lead times on our new products. So we are finally able to launch this armada of new products. So today we have 30 new products, 12 products that allow PLCs to talk to PLCs. And one addition to our serial master, we are adding an Ethercat slave that allows serial devices to talk to Ethercat PLCs. All right, so 13 new new uh, gateways. Uh, it's quite a lot. How have you been able to, to develop these in such a short time? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here today presenting the products, but behind me I have the development teams and the supply teams here in Hamsta, and they have really made the hard work and made this possible. Right. Uh, so before we look into the, the details and, and behind the scenes of this product, uh, let's have a look at what the main character herself has to say. Hello, I'm the Anybus Communicator, an industrial protocol gateway. I may be small, but I assure you, I pack a pretty, powerful punch. I can instantly transfer up to 1500 bytes of data in both directions. So I won't be the one slowing you down. I seamlessly connect industrial devices to any industrial or field bus network, steadily preventing unnecessary and costly downtime. They call me a high performance gateway, but just like the rest of my crew, I prefer to see myself as the strong silent type, rugged, hardworking, industrial, all of my cutting-edge security features may seem a bit excessive, but I refuse to be your weakest link. My approachability is what really makes me special. You don't need special training to get me configured. And wait until you see my user interface. Curious? I don't blame you. Okay, thanks very much for that. Um, so, Frederick, tell us a little bit about the, the new product here. What are the backgrounds to, to uh, HMS Networks developing these uh, new, new variants for, for the communicator? Yeah, we've basically seen three trends in the market that we have based these products on. So, first, the need to transfer more data at a faster rate. And that's driven by the fast-paced IT development we see all around us to synchronize, monitor, and optimize operations on the factory floor. And then we're also seeing that the number of devices is growing quickly, mm -hmm. but the number of automation engineers is not growing at nearly the same rate. So that means there will be less time to spend on each device. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we see that more OT systems are connected to IT systems. And that means you have a lot of benefits. You can, you can take the data on the factory floor and analyze it to get insights. But you're also exposing yourself to cybersecurity threats. Right, Th this trend of more data faster uh, is something that we've seen uh, across many HMS brands, but w um, how have you been able to, to meet that trend in, in the new communicator? Yeah, so with the new communicator, we've expanded the IO data area to up to 1500 bytes. Mm -hmm. So that means you can transfer 1500 bytes from the gateway to a PLC, for example, and 1500 bytes from the PLC to the gateway. So 3000 bytes in total. And that's three times, almost three times, the current generation. Right. So that's mm -hmm. a great step up. Mm -hmm. In addition, the data transfer is instant. Uh, and that means the data transfer time is very low in the gateway. Right. 
So if you compare the new generation to the previous one, for example, with an e IP PLC transferring data to a Profinet RT PLC, with a new gateway, we have the one millisecond cycle time on the e IP PLC and the one millisecond cycle time on the Profinet RT network. So that's two milliseconds. And you don't even need to count the data transfer time in the gateway because that's in line with the natural variation of the network. The jitter, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, the previous generation, they were talking about almost 20 milliseconds. Right. So it's up to 10 times better. OK, so that means that we can cater for new applications like uh, motion and sync with the new gateway? Exactly. Simple motion applications. So that's really exciting. We can go in and help customers to, to use gateways for those applications that has previously not been, been in scope. Right. How, how is this step up in performance achieved? It's achieved thanks to the use of our award-winning MP40 network processor. And we are able to run two networks in a single network processor. Mm -hmm. And this is how this performance uh, improvement is achieved. Right. Have you heard about NDNS, Thomas? NDNS? No, I'm, I'm sure you're going to tell me. <laughs> yeah, it's always confusing to me as well. You know, there's two standards for how to represent data on different networks. And what you need to know is that one number of one network can be a completely different number on another network if you don't translate it. And normally, this translation is done in the PLC. Mm -hmm. But it takes time and it takes resources from the PLC. We have added a hardware accelerated endian conversion. Okay. So now the gateway can convert that for you, and it can even convert different data formats. And this is done with hardware acceleration. So we're not adding any processing time in the gateway. Right. So it offloads the PLCs on, on both networks. Exactly. Right. Okay. And it simplifies the, the setup of the system. You mentioned that, that automation engineers will have more time to, to, to spend or uh, have an easier life with this. Uh, tell us a bit more, more about that. Yeah. From a physical point of view, I mean, the housing is much slimmer, so it's easier to fit on a crowded DIN rail. Uh, in addition, all the ports are front-facing, so it's easy to get access and it's easy to monitor. And on all the variants, we have an Ethernet configuration port on top. Yeah. And that means no special cables, no drivers to install. Just plug in your standard Ethernet cable, plug it into your computer, and then you fire up your favorite web browser and you can reach the configuration interface. So that's really simple. And there's no software to install on the PC either. In addition, we have spent a lot of time and effort to work on the configuration interface. We have used the latest web technology that loads the entire web page the first time you access it. And then it works like a snappy Windows application. Mm -hmm. There's no delay when you're shifting pages. It's just loading a small amount of data on the fly, and the rest is preloaded. In addition, we also spend a lot of time doing lazy marking on the product, so it's really intuitive, working on the quick start guide that's shipped with the product and the manual. Right. So, uh, yeah, a, a lot of new features to, to make life easier for automation engineers. I think especially this, uh, uh, this new web interface, I think a lot of people seeing this and being used to work with the communicator and seeing this new web interface will be uh, quite impressed by it and see that it's, it's a lot easier to work with. Um, you also talked about a very important feature, which is security. And that's something that's on everybody's lips uh, these days. And, and there is a lot of new security features in this, uh, this new gateway. Tell us a bit about that. We have three main security features. So first, we have what's called secure boot. And that means that when you load new firmware to the gateway, this firmware needs to be signed by HMS. So the gateway will check if the firmware has the right signature. And if it has, it will accept the new firmware. So this prevents malicious firmware from being loaded to the gateway. And then secondly, we have this switch here, 
we call it a security switch. And when you flip the switch into a locked position, we will kill the web server in the product. Mm -hmm. And that means you will ha need to have physical access to reconfigure the gateway. Right, so that turns off all the communication from the outside, so to speak. That turns off the configuration server. And it also lights up a LED here, so you have an indication that it's in locked mode. Right. And then, last but not least, we have ports that are used in production to load the software and also to test the product. Uh, and they are disabled in the last step of the production process to make sure malicious firmware cannot be loaded that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a lot of both physical and software features uh, when it comes to security on the new gateway, right? Uh, let's talk a little bit about, about the networks involved here. Uh, so which networks can you connect to with the, the new gateway? Yeah, they're all variants of an EtherCAT slave, Ethernet IP adapter, uh, Profinet IO device, uh, Profibus IO device, and Modbus DCP server. Right. So five variants, and they make up the 12 products, and then the zero master to EtherCAT. Right, so the 12, pro the 12 new products are, are different kind of combinations between these, uh, these networks. Exactly. Right, and um, there's also common Ethernet in this. So, what does that mean? Yeah, that's a good one. It, it's one article number where you can select the networks you want. Okay. So you can choose from the four Ethernet networks. So EtherCAT slave, Ethernet IP adapter, Profinet IO device, or Modbus TCP server. So with that product, you can cover many combinations. Right, with, with one hardware. One hardware. Mm. And this simplifies stock keeping. And it's also very handy if you have an urgent need to keep this on stock. Right. Let's talk a little bit about the naming of, of this product, because it is uh, Anybus Communicator, but it does communication between different networks, which is previously what the X gateway did. Uh, tell us a bit about the, the new naming here. Yeah, that's a tough question, Thomas. I know. <laughs> well, as the new product has the same look and feel as the new communicator, I've decided to call them communicators. And my approach is that we will focus on the customer problem. We will focus on our comprehensive range of products and then on the generic gateway name but the product name will be Communicator. Right, okay. Uh, but if you search on the Anibus website for two, two different networks, this will show up. Yeah, now we have this uh, gateway selector, as you know. So this will show up in the gateway selector to help the customer choose the right network combination. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what will happen to, to the, uh, the older uh, X gateway, which has been so successful on the market? And they will be phased out according to our lifecycle policy. And the policy, of course, encourage customers to switch to the new product, but also give them adequate time to make the transition. Right. Okay. So you convinced me. <laughs> where, where can I get one? <laughs> yeah, they will be available through our normal channels, either through direct sales, if you're a direct sales customer, or through our distribution network. Right. Okay, Fredrik, thanks very much for explaining the, the new Anybus communicator to us. And this will be available uh, as of this fall, right? Yes, as of this fall. We are starting to launch them very soon. Excellent. Okay, uh, thanks everyone for listening. Uh, we'll stay around here for a few more minutes to answer any questions you may have. Uh, other than that, uh, please uh, look up our new uh, gateways on anybus.com or visit our company website on hmsnetworks.com. Thanks very much for listening.